It's very strange. You find yourself on trains, you find yourself on boats, you find yourself on planes. And you know, at the end of the day, they basically, they all go to bed. Or they sit in the back there just talking to themselves, playing Scrabble. And what do you do when you're on the road? You get a few bottles, you get some fruit, you get some stuff, and you make one last one for the road. I don't really know what I'm doing here, but I want to try to encapsulate, if I can, the kind of spirit of South Africa. So what I thought I would do, I thought I'd pour some brandy into a jug. And there's only me and you in the camera, so we can drink ourselves. And it's not me, it's the piano that's been drinking. I thought we'd throw some of the brandy in. I thought we'd throw some strawberries in. I thought we might take a handful of ice. And why not? I thought we might put some cane sugar in. And then I thought we might take this strange device which looks like an outboard motor and other views other of you with uh, different persuasions might think of other things it's just strawberries ice sugar and meat and you then i thought we'd probably pour what is effectively a strawberry daiquiri into the bottom of this moving glass because the train, too, is moving. And then maybe we would put some double cream, or actually it's single cream. Maybe this uh, strange bottle of strawberry cream into there, too. Because it's a kind of an alcoholic milkshake for lonely people late at night on trains, which have come from nowhere and appear to arrive nowhere. We maybe put another cup of strawberries into that one. Maybe just a dash of Angus Dewar bitters. Because there's always a bitter slice to every kind of life. And then on top of this iced brandy, strawberry flavored alcohol, with any luck, we just float some strawberry cream. across the top. And we might think on a night like tonight of pink ladies and the blues. Africa, I love you. I tell you what, Jesus Christ, that's a fine drink.